Rachel Friday. Molly Glasgow. Scanning the room. Scanning the room. I'm going to be, or I'm a nursing student from Detroit Mercy, and I'm going to be performing your assessment today. Okay. You wouldn't mind telling me your first and last name? Molly Blasco. And your birth date? 1984. And today's date? June 20, 2012. Okay. And do you know where you're at right now? Hospital. Um, what brings you in today? Just to check up. Okay. Um, any allergies? No. Any pain at all? Nope. If the patient had pain, I would use TQRSTU to assess the pain. I'm going to be put on this hospital gown and I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll get started. Okay. Okay. Wash my hands. Shut the door, get the patient some privacy. While I'm out of the room, I would note that the patient's posture is erect and upright. Um, she's alert and oriented times four. Her speech is fluid, fluid and coherent. Um, she's attentive and responding to my questions. No obvious signs of illness. Um, no, she looks her stated age. Um, mood is calm, affect is kind of run with mood. Okay. Oh, no signs of body odor or hygiene, breath odor. Good. Okay. Wash my hands. Okay, I'm going to be performing a head to toe assessment on you today. If you feel uncomfortable at any point, just let me know. Okay. I'm going to start with your skull. Skull is normal cephalic, no signs of abnormally large or an abnormally small head. Um, scalp or hair is thick and evenly distributed, no signs of parasites or lesions in the scalp. Skin is um, dry and warm, no signs of pallor, cyanosis, jaundice. Um, okay. I'm going to uh, test cranial nerve 5, so if you can close your eyes for me and tell me where I'm touching on your face. Forehead, chin, nose. Okay, and then I'm also going to test cranial nerve 7, so if you could um, smile for me, show me your teeth, puff out your cheeks, and squint your eyes shut. Good. Also going to palpate your frontal sinuses. Um, any tenderness there? No. Maglary sinuses? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm also going to palpate your temporal mandibular joint, so if you open your jaw for me, shut it. Um, range of motion is smooth, no crepitus. Okay, I'm going to test your vision um, using the Snell and eye chart. Do you wear any glasses or contacts? No. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to have you stand 20 feet away from the chart. Close your right eye. Read the line. A, B, C. Okay, and left eye. A, B, C. Okay, and both eyes. A, B, C. Okay. I'm also, and that's cranial nerve 2. I'm going to test cranial nerve 3, so if you just follow the pen light. Okay, pupils constrict and converge. I'm going to look at your extraocular movement. So if you again follow the pen light. Cranial nerve three, cranial nerve six, cranial nerve three for the left eye and four for the right. Cranial nerve three, cranial nerve six, cranial nerve three for the left eye and um, excuse me, three for the right eye and four for the left. Um, okay, and then test your pupillary reaction. So you're just going to have a light shining in your eye for one minute. Okay. Pupils both constrict. Um, that's cranial nerve three. Okay, move on to your nose. Um, nose is midline and symmetrical. No signs of bumps or lesions anywhere. I'm going to test the paint and see your nares. So if you just cover one nostril, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, breathe in. Yeah. No signs of congestion. Okay, um, move on to your mouth. Um, lips are pink, no signs of cracking, um, no lesions, no dripping to one side. Just open your mouth for me. Um, the hard and soft palate are pink and smooth, inner and buccal mucosa are pink and smooth, no signs of lesions, teeth are all present, no signs of caries. Um, you can just show me your gums real quick. Pink, um, gums are pink, no signs of gingivitis or bleeding. If you can open your mouth and say ah. Okay, um, uvula rises in his midline, um, no signs, or that's cranial nerve nine. Tonsils are um, visible but not touching, so one plus. 
Um, so you could stick out your tongue for me. Um, tongue is pink, no signs of coating um, or lesions. That's cranial nerve 12. Moving on to your ears. Oracles are elastic and flexible. Um, same color as the face and neck. No signs of cerumen or foreign objects in the ear. So you can just cover your tragus for me. I'm going to whisper something in your ear and I want you to tell me what I said. Hello. The next testing cranial nerve eight. Okay, I'm going to move on to your neck. Um, going to palpate your carotid arteries one at a time. Forces two plus, steady and even. Um, again, forces two plus, steady and even. Okay, and then I will auscultate them one at a time using the diaphragm. Okay. And you're going to test range of motion in your neck. So if you can just flip to the side, put your chin to your shoulder. Other side, chin to shoulder. Okay, ear to shoulder. Ear to shoulder. Look up. Look down. Okay, and then um, I'm just going to put some resistance on your... That's good. Um, okay. That's testing cranial nerve 11. Okay, I'm going to look at your um, lymph nodes. Um, lymph nodes shouldn't be palpable, but if they are, then they're signs of infection. So you have preauricular, postauricular, occipital, submental, submandibular, jugular digastric, um, superficial cervical, posterior cervical, deep cervical chain, and superclavicular. Move on to skin turgor. You might feel a slight pinch. Okay. Skin turgor is um, good, bounce back with less than two seconds, no signs of tenting. Patient is well hydrated. Move on to your arms. Skin is dry and warm, hair is evenly distributed. Um, okay. Tissue around the nails are healthy, no signs of clubbing. If the patient's wearing nail polish, I'll do capillary recall on her fingertips. Okay, less than two seconds. And less than two seconds. Okay. Look at your brachial pulses. Um, and I would count for 30 seconds. Um, if they're irregular, then it would be 60 seconds. So force is 2 plus, steady and even. Then the radial pulses, force is 2 plus, steady and even. Okay. Then move on to your chest. So I'm going to auscultate um, your lungs in 10 places so if you can just breathe in and out for me. If you feel faint, just let me know. Okay, starting with the apex. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, I'm also going to identify um, what's in your heart. So, um, with the aortic and pulmonic are in the second intercostal space. Herbs point is in the third intercostal space. Um, tricuspid is in the fourth intercostal space, and mitral is in the fifth. Um, midline to the clavicle. And I would also oscillate those same points. So the aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. And then I would listen for the apical heart rate for 60 seconds. Okay, and then I would flip um, over my stethoscope and use the bell to go back up. So mitral, um, tricuspid, herbs point, pulmonic, and aortic. Okay, if you could um, turn around for me. This is posterior. I'm going to suck the spine. Spine is normal S shape, F curve. No signs of scoliosis, lordosis, or kyphosis. No barrel chest, um, two to one. Um, going to assess anterior posterior diameter at T10. So if you breathe in for me. Okay, um, breath sounds are symmetrical, no signs of um, collapsed lung. Also going to assess passive vertebral angle for tenderness. So, okay, any signs of tenderness? No. Okay. I'm also going to auscultate 10 points on posterior, posterior lung. Starting at the apex, avoiding scapula. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Okay, so you can turn around again. And then I'm also going to take the lateral one in four places. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to move on to the lower extremities. Um, I'm sorry, could you lay down on a good accessory abdomen first before I move on to that? Apologize. Okay, so first thing I would do is inspect the abdomen. Um, the abdomen is not concave or convex, no signs of surgical scars or lesions. Then I would auscultate, starting in the right lower quadrant. I would listen for bowel sounds um, 5 to 30 in a minute. If not, I'd listen for a full 5 minutes. Right lower, right upper, left upper, left lower. And okay, I'm going to palpate in each quadrant, um, one to two centimeters for deep palpation. Um, so in the right lower quadrant, the right ovary, right spermatic cord, and um, appendix. Right upper is um, liver, gallbladder, head of pancreas. Left upper is spleen, stomach body of pancreas, and left lower is um, left ovary, left spermatic cord, descending colon, and sigmoid colon. Okay, you just sit back up for me. All right, now I'm going to test your lower extremity. Okay, um, skin is dry, warm, no signs of edema around the medial malleolus. Um, I'm going to assess the dors dors or, excuse me, posterior tibialis pulses. Force is Two plus, they're steady and even. And then the dorsalis pedis pulses, again, steady and even. Um, force is two plus. Capillary refill is less than two seconds. Okay. All right. And then I'm also going to assess range of, or I'm going to palpate your joints. Okay. Um, look for any kind of tenderness or swelling. Uh -huh. Any kind of tenderness or swelling or warmth. Um, I'm just going to test your strength. So if you could just. Oh. Okay. Um, push on my hands. Okay. Shrug your shoulders. Good. Lift your knees up. Good. Okay. Um, I'm going to have you stand up and then just walk across the room. I would assess for the gait. Um, no signs of shuffling or limping of any sort. Okay, good. And then um, I'm going to assess the patient's balance using the Romberg test. Um, so if you just stand with your eyes closed, okay, and I would do this for 20 seconds. Um, patient has good balance. Okay, I'm going to sit back down. All right, do you have any questions for me today? I don't. Okay, um, you're all set. Doctor will be in with you shortly. Thank you. I would leave, wash my hands. Assessment is done.